Welcome back to TNL Food Channel. The weather is changing here in Fargo. It's starting to get cold. Fall and winter are coming, which means it's time for my favorite season. And what season is that, do you ask? It's soup season. So we are going to make a soup for you tonight. I think soup should be its own food group. Okay, so, I love um, soup. As I was saying, I think soup should have its own food group. It's one of my absolute favorite foods. There's all kinds you can do with soup. We are gonna make a lobster bisque tonight. The first thing I'm gonna do, I have a fourth or one tablespoon of salted butter. I'm gonna put it in the pan. We're gonna go ahead and turn our Instapot on saute on the more, which is high, and we're gonna let that melt. And then I'll add the next three ingredients. The butter in the Instapot is starting to melt. I think I did forget to say it was lobster bisque in the Instapot, but that's what it is. This is um, one small shallot diced up. We're gonna put that in on our butter. We have here a tablespoon of minced garlic. That's gonna go in on the butter. And three um, scallions or green onions, just the mainly the white parts. And we're going to put that in there. And we're going to let that cook for about one minute. One thing I am going to tell you about this um, lobster bisque. We did buy two whole lobster tails for this bisque. This is not a cheap soup to make. Um, the lobsters themselves cost about 50 bucks. So don't think this is going to be a cheap soup if you decide to make it but we're hoping it's a delicious soup uh we did get the recipe from pressurelookcooking.com um another recipe inspired by jeff we do enjoy his videos and his cooking so we're gonna give another one a try this is cooked up fast see it's already turning brown and sticking in my pot i'm gonna deglaze it a little bit get all those flavors up off the bottom of the pot Then I'm going to add a mixture of a lot of different seasonings and liquids. There's a, um, a third cup of uh, cooking sherry in here, a fourth cup of a dry white wine, uh, a tablespoon of um, sriracha, uh, a teaspoon of dry thyme, a half teaspoon of Old Bay seasoning, a teaspoon of paprika and we're gonna mix all that in there and basically you're just gonna let that cook and bubble for about a minute all right as you can see the um, liquid mixture in there is boiling very nicely um, I did forget to mention when I poured in the mixture of the sherry and the wine and all that other stuff that there was um, two teaspoons of uh, Worcestershire sauce in that mixture as well. The next thing I have here is Hunt's no salt added tomato paste. This is a um, six ounce can. We're going to put about three fourths of the can in there. That probably looks about right. We're gonna let that get melted. And we're gonna stir it up. Then I have here, um, this is a uh, highly recommended by Jeff. It's better than bouillon uh, lobster base. It's uh, like a bouillon only uh, more like a paste and you mix it with water. So I have a cup of hot water here, I don't know if you can see in there, that I put a half tablespoon of the bouillon base in there with it. And we're gonna mix that in there. And let that get nice and hot and the tomato, so or tomato paste get melted and then we'll go on with our next step of the soup. All right, this mixture is bubbling quite madly. It has gotten melted. There's really, as you can see, there's it's, it's thinner. There's no thick pieces of the tomato paste. So the next thing I'm going to do is I have two bay leaves here. I'm going to throw them on top. 
I did uh, deglaze the bottom of the pan again before I did that. I'm gonna secure my lid and then turn this to off. But once you have your lid on, you want to hit your manual button, adjust your time down to two minutes. Just a couple quick things to mention. When the pressure is building up in your um, pressure cooker, you will see some steam coming up. You'll hear that whistling sound as the pressure is building. Once that pin pops, it'll set. When pressure cooking with the Instapot, you want to make sure it's on ceiling with the IP Lux, which is our model. Um, oh, it's the middle where you turn the knob, right there, ceiling. The pin has just gone up. You can no longer see that steam and hear that whizzing sound. And also on this, once you hit the manual button, It'll um, set a second and then it'll beep. That's when you know the pressure cooking mode is actually going to start on the IP Lux. And then it'll go to that on until all the pressure builds up. Then it'll show your minutes. Okay. All right. Once that starts beeping and the pressure is out, you want to go or the pressure cooker is off. You want to go ahead and do a quick release. Another thing to remember when using the Instapot, try to keep your body parts away from that steam once you move that knob over to let that pressure out. That is going to be hot. The pressure has released from the pot. I'm going to go ahead and twist and open it. Bam! And I'm going to dig out these bay leaves. Gotta love a husband. There's one, and two, then I'm going to turn my pot back on saute, turn it off, then turn it back on saute, adjust it to where it says normal. I'm going to put three more tablespoons of butter in with that mixture. Mix it up. Deglaze that pan while you're mixing. Get all that off the bottom of your pan. The butter's getting pretty melted, so we're going to go ahead and add some heavy whipping cream. This is Lando Lakes Fresh Heavy Whipping Cream, one pint. We're going to stir that in there. Let that get warm and come to a slight bubble. Uh, once it starts bubbling, we will add the lobster. We have um, two whole lobster tails. The recipe calls for uh, approximately two lobster tails. I don't remember the exact amount. It was a half a pound to a A pound, pound. to a pound and a half, I think. I, I don't remember. We have to look. Look at that beautiful color, gorgeous light orange color of the lobster bisque there. We're not perfect here, folks. Um, in case you can't tell, I'm not familiar to this recipe. We're going to try something new. We do have some nice lobster chunks here. And we're going to go ahead and slide those in. Give it a stir. That's some pretty hearty lobster bisque. Look at those chunks of lobster in there. And that's all there is to it, folks. 
Like I said, I'm not sure it was the easiest recipe to make, but if you'd like, give it a try. Let us know what you think. We'll let you know what we think. Again, we did get this, uh, the inspiration from uh, PressureLuck.Cooking. Thank you, Jeff. We enjoy your videos and your cooking. And uh, have a good rest of your day, everyone. Okay, I lied again. We're back. I'm going to show you what we're going to have with our um, soup. We've got the Hink King's Hawaiian Sweet Bread Round. It comes in a really nifty aluminum tin, almost like a pie tin. And if you take it out, it looks like a big muffin. Kind of cute. We're going to go ahead and slice that up and have it with our bisque. All right, we're going to go ahead and put some of this bisque into our bowl. A little bit more soup. There we go.